Hi guys, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com here, and I just want to go over some equipment for some surface mount soldering before we get started. So, um, I would invest in a good iron. I think it's a very good investment. Uh, this particular one is is a, a kind of a cheapo. It's a OIG, I think. has five valves in it. Not sure how you say that. Uh, Hacko uh, would be my next iron uh, when I go to replace this guy here. I've had this one for quite a long time, and it works good. But um, you want to get yourself a, a good iron. Um, you know, that's a that's it's a really decent iron, not basically what they call, you know, in the industry, a fire starter. So, um, there's that guy there, and um, if you have SMD parts to solder, you probably want to store them. So, um, this guy right here, uh, these little boxes I got from Adafruit uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, they're marvelous. I, I, I actually absolutely love them. Uh, you keep all your little tiny SMD stuff in there, and it keeps them nice and safe and organized, and they're modular. In other words, you can or uh, you can arrange them in any side, in any fashion you want. They have little clips on the side, and they uh, just a, a really good setup for holding your parts. Um, a wire sponge is a good idea, versus the little sponge that's moist, and you need to uh, have, have you clean off your iron with a moist sponge. This is a lot better solution for that. Um, some solder. I am a big fan of um, actually not that or that. Um, 0.015 inch solder uh, for for surface mount. You can see that you can get really good control with it. It's really really fine solder. When you get the bigger, thicker solder, it's kind of hard to just get a, just a tiny bit. Um, and some solder wick probably uh, is a good idea. Tweezers. Um, get yourself some good tweezers. I got these guys from Adafruit uh, a few weeks ago, and they're quickly becoming my favorite. In fact, they already have become my my favorite tweezers. They're ESD safe, and um, they, they're a lot thicker than the other ones, and they have a really nice feel to them versus these other guys that are that are EST safe, uh, but they're a lot thinner. You can't really get a good hold of them, but these guys both have really good, uh, a really good feel to them. So good tweezers is essential because there's no way you can pick these things up with your fingers. Um, Panavice Jr., uh, a great, great tool. Uh, hold your boards. It's slotted to hold boards, temperature resistant. Um, just a good vice to pick one up. And then... Um, a head magnifier. Uh, this is one that I got at my local electronics shop. I think it's a 6x, um, which is which is good. And then I also have, I took this off of an old school camcorder. Uh, I don't know what the magnification is, but I can easily read uh, lots of tiny things with this. So this is good. And then once in a while, I have these guys here, uh, the super nerd goggles here. These are 20x, and they have little LEDs on the side of them that you can turn on uh, to light up whatever you're doing. But um, the point is that you need you need to be able to see uh, really up close. Having said that, this guy right here, uh, I got this about a month back or so, and this has been one of the greatest things ever in my tool bench. This is a USB microscope. Um, it's what you'll be seeing most of the video today. It goes from 20 to 200x, and it's just really, really cool. So uh, I'm going to try to solder around all these cameras today and see if I can uh, see if I can get some stuff done. So, without further ado, uh, let's talk about what we're going to solder. So now that we've discussed tools, we're going to go over our board. So we have a little board here with basically just a little tiny controller, a button, and an LED. So we are going to take this ATtiny85 and attach it to here. And we're going to have a little push button switch. And we're going to have a little resistor that's 603 in size, 100 ohm. And we're going to have a white LED that's also 603 in size. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of solder on this pad here. So we're just going to hit this guy here. I'm just going to get a little bit of solder on that. What we're going to do is we're going to hold that switch there uh, with that one solder. This is incredibly awkward because um, I have two cameras like right in front of what I'm doing. So I apologize if this takes a little bit longer. So we grab our tweezers here and we get our part down. And it doesn't matter if this is not perfectly straight. Um, we're going to just do that and just get it there and then we're going to take the tweezers we're going to get a better hold of it here and then we're going to get this guy lined up with just one solder pad um, this is a little bit more awkward than I thought with the cameras so uh, we're going to get the pad lined up about there And then that should be it. Now that's pretty much lined up. What we want to check for is that it is flat on the surface. So if we put a little bit of pressure down on here, 
and just tap that guy again, you hear that thing click, that meant it was not flat. So now it's riding. Um, that looks about good. So that's good there. It's a little bit far forward though, I think. Oh, I just looked at my other camera. Yeah, it is. So, let's scoot this guy back just a hair. And sometimes you'll need to do this two or three times because they get real touchy. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. And so the next thing we need to do is just go ahead and tack up uh, the other corners, and we're going to come back to that. Uh, we're going to come back to that place that we already did. So go ahead and do this guy here. I'm going to do this guy. Do this guy. And don't worry about it if you get a little bit too much or a little bit messy because we can go back and we can clean it up. And I apologize, I'm doing this kind of messy. I've never tried this with cameras before. Alright, so we're pretty much mostly on there. And we will check our work with a microscope and see how we did. Okay, now you can see, you can see if you look at this guy that I kind of missed this one corner here, so we're going to go ahead and revisit that. A little bit more heat on there. That guy sucks down. You could tell by the gold on the, uh, on the image of the pad that it wasn't taking right there. So now uh, we have it firmly seated, and um, it looks pretty good. We're going to take a closer look here. I'm going to move this microscope in a minute. Um, we're also going to retouch the other side because I'm not fully convinced that was down all the way either. All right, now let's move the microscope and see what we got here. All right, guys, you can see here that um, not 100% happy uh, with a soldering joint on the left. So let's spin around and take a look at the other side here. So you can see here that the uh, the other two guys look pretty good. Um, just the one on the one side there is a little bit a little bit out this ball of solder is and you can see that there's not much solder underneath the switch we're going to go under there and give it a little bit more heat I'm going to try to get this solder underneath this camera that's not going to work so I'll have to go behind it see if I can get some solder to suck underneath the board there you can see the solders going underneath following that pad so it's definitely it's definitely on there now Okay, so next we're going to put our microcontroller on an AT Tiny 85, and so uh, we are going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to take pin one indicated by this little um, uh, this dot right here, this white dot, and then we're just going to take we're just going to put a little bit of solder on this one pad here. We're going to get that a little bit of solder on that pad, and that's going to hold uh, the chip in place. Now we have to be really careful with this uh, because. Um, this chip is sensitive to heat and so we can't just go uh, we can't have a field day nuking this thing uh, like the switch because it's a component that's sensitive to heat so we're going to do this rather quickly if it doesn't stick we're just going to do it a little bit more and that's probably good and you see that's not straight on there this is really awkward to do with these cameras <laughs> again I apologize um, I usually get this in a shot or two uh, we're going to do this Okay, so that looks pretty straight right there. 
So now uh, we have that guy on there. We're going to do the same thing we did before with the switch. Is we're going to put, oops, I'm going to drop the tweezers on the camera. We're going to put a little bit of pressure on, uh, put a little bit of pressure on the chip, and then we're just going to reheat that joint uh, to make sure that the chip is laying uh, all the way on the surface because we want that we want that guy down on the surface. So uh, we're going to put a little bit of pressure on here. And then it's flat here. And you can see that shifted things over just a hair. So we'll just take the chip here. And do that. Now we are a little bit off to the side here. So we're going to just move this guy a little bit. This is why you, it's important that you do this with one pin and don't solder more than one thing um, because it's really hard to move if you have more than one pin soldered. So again, we're just going to put a little bit of pressure on this. So I think we're mainly flat here. And now let's take a look at the, in the scope. And the scope says we are not flat. So we're going to do this again here. We're going to put a little bit of pressure on here. And I heard that little tick. That meant that the feet went down. And so now we are pretty much flat now. So now we're going to do this a little bit different. Um, okay, get a nice clean tip here with just a little bit of solder. I'm going to put on my magnifiers, which I usually wear. But I'm trying not to bump cameras and whatnot. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of solder. Uh, with an iron on here and just kind of a little bit of solder here a little bit here a little bit here and then we're going to clean this guy up a little bit right there alright so now we have our four uh, pins on one side and then I'm going to attempt to turn this around without mutilating my camera setup here Okay, now we got the camera all settled. You can see here that the chips, uh, the, the legs line up pretty good with the other side of the chip. So I'm going to carefully grab my iron again. Make sure I have a nice clean tip. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Oh, I'm not bumping camera stands. I'm curve my solder down a little bit. A little bit too much solder on my tip. And there we have it. So now we have uh, a chip firmly in place there. And it's ready to go. Okay guys, now we're going to solder the surface mount resistor on here. So the same thing, we're going to take a little bit of solder and we're just going to dab that pad. And then we're going to take our tweezers, and I have a 100 ohm resistor here, so we're going to put this down. Um, this camera is kind of in the way here. Um, I'm going to switch tweezers and go with straight tweezers, see if I can get a better shot at this. Okay, so there's our resistor that's attacked. We're going to put a little bit of pressure on it, make sure it's firmly seated. I already clicked down a little bit. You probably didn't hear that on the video, but I felt it. So we're going to go ahead and solder the other side. Okay, 
And then we're just going to tack the other side and make sure that's good and, good and bonded. So now we have our resistor in place, and now we can go ahead and solder our LED in. Okay, guys, so now we're going to solder in our LED. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to dab one pad with solder here. And then we're going to take our LED. Now I'm going to flip this over here. You can see that the bottom of the LED has some markings on it. And uh, the side with the green on this one is the anode. So the cathode is at the end. And so we actually need to flip this guy around. So we're going to take this. I'm going to carefully flip it around. This is off camera. You can't see this. So now it is it is on here and ready to go. So we're going to just go ahead and tack that guy in. We do the same thing we always do and heat it up, push it down, make sure it's got good contact. It's off to the end a little bit, so I'm going to slide it up just a hair. Let's see if I can straighten this out just a hair as well. We're going to solder the other side with a nice clean tip. I'm going to come around the back side and then make sure that's soldered good as well. Okay. So that pretty much wraps that up, and then we're going to take a closer look at this with a microscope in a second here. Okay, guys, here's our AT Tiny 85 chip, and you can see here that we don't have any of the pins touching. Uh, there's no solder uh, connecting any of the pins, which is good. Uh, any of the pins connected to the other pins is what I mean. Uh, you can see the flux on the board makes it look rather ugly. Um, but uh, everything looks ugly up close, I think, uh, to some point. So uh, we want to make sure that just no, no pins are connected uh, via solder. In other words, we didn't goop solder from one pin to the next pin. So, um, looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and let's check our LED and our resistor. There is our resistor. And it looks good. So now let's check our LED. Okay, guys, there's our LED, and it looks good as well. I wanted to show you this shot right here. And um, I don't think that's a cold solder joint, but I think it's a very weak one. So I will go back and touch that up. Uh, without the mess of cameras in the way, but it's good to have a, one of these little microscopes because you can really inspect your work like you've never inspected before. Even my head, ma my head magnifiers uh, in my eyepiece can't can't see the clarity and the detail that that is. I could probably see the same thing, but not as easily and uh, definitely, definitely not as clear. You can see from this angle here that uh, it's not as weak as I thought, but it's not as much solder. Uh, as the pads on either side of it. Alright guys, we have our finished board here. I'm just going to pop this in this vise. We have our wire sponge here and I have a USB Tiny and uh, I'm just going to plug this in and put some firmware on it. So um, we have a program going here. It's just a real simple program uh, just basically to flash the LED. So uh, what you didn't see me do is I used this same programmer and I put an Arduino bootloader on this guy. Uh, internal resonator running at 8 megahertz. So, we have LED Blinky. So the board's a success, um, everything works, and happy soldering.